Here's an uh, example of how I've come to use uh, Find Change in InDesign CS3. Uh, here we have a sample text that I've uh, been working on in a project. And the issue is that we've previously formatted dates uh, like the dates, space, hyphen, space, and the date again. Well, we've decided that we didn't want this type of formatting. We actually wanted to take out the extra spaces that we have had um, input into this date form. So we have a lot of instances of this, but uh, that's not the only issue. Let me bring up the Find Change dialog box and show you what I mean. Okay, we have Find Change, and I'm going to uh, do this using the Grep tab. Okay, we have our dates listed here, and we have our space, hyphen, space, and then the date again. What we want to do is take a look at um, other formatting uh, that we have. So we have space, hyphen, and space. And when I click on the find, you see it's going to find all instances of what I just typed in. The issue came in, because otherwise it will, could be a relatively easy fix, but the issue came in here is that we also have the same type of formatting within text. We want to change this formatting in the dates, but we want to leave this formation in text the way it is. We don't want to change that at all. So let's go back up to the top and start this uh, from the beginning of the text here. So how do you go about changing this? just being able to select the date formatting that we have and leave the text formatting alone. So I decided, uh, well, let me uh, tackle this in grep. Grep is something that was new to InDesign CS3. I'd never tried it before, so I thought, okay, this is a challenge. Let me see how I can work with this. So I knew what I wanted to find, and I knew what I wanted to change it to. The issue is how do I do it? <laughs> without having any knowledge whatsoever of what grep does or how grep does this. So I did a little reading and also grep will help you out a little bit. And the find what, directly to the right of the find what field, there's a pop-up. In that pop-up you have quite a few list of choices of uh, options here. And it's always safe to go to the wild card. So, okay, so I said, okay, wild cards. I selected any digit, and I thought, okay, I have a date. So let me input <coughs> the any digit times four. And I can select that pretty fast and copy-paste. So I have that. So now I know there's a space there, there's a hyphen there, there's another space, and then I have this four-digit sequence again. So I'm going to just type, paste that right into there. So I tested it at this point to see if it would find what I was looking for. So, okay, that's successful. Now, I remembered math, my math classes in high school and in college, and I thought, okay, well, I should be able to somehow dwindle this down a little bit. And I'm going to show you how I did that, and I'm going to save you the uh, time that it took me to figure out how to format this. So, in order to format this so that it reads the same, but it's a little more concise, I'm going to type in parenthesis, code for my character, oops, sorry, the code for my character. I'm going to type in a bracket, left bracket, times four, and then a right bracket, and then another parenthesis. Now this formatting that I've just done means exactly the same as what you see here, only this is more isolation of the information. So it's best to use when you have um, many strings of something. Uh, you can isolate it better. So it, it's, it's like writing out a, a formula and putting items in parentheses. It isolates the items better so that the calculation can work on them. Uh, the way you want the calculations to work on them. So let's test this out for a second. It found it again. Found next. So I know this works. So I'm going to take this, copy it, 
and also substitute it here as well. Okay, now, what do I change this to? And I tried several solutions. And let me again say, because I didn't know what grep was or how to work with it, uh, it, was, uh, it was a, took me a little time to figure out how to do this. But what I did realize is that because it's isolated in the find what field, the first instance of what it's finding is basically a set or a found text. The second item here that I'm isolating is found text. So I can tell in design to change this to found set one and then in no spaces because I want to eliminate the spaces type my hyphen and then select found set two. So this is what I came up with. In design we'll find the first instance of the date space hyphen space date and I want it to change it to just the date first found set which would be 1820 here and put a hyphen and leave out the spaces and then give me the second found set which is 1957 listed here. So let's see if that will work. Go over to change and click change and voila it gives me what I want. So let's go through find next and test it, change and it does. So now I feel secure that I can change all. It tells me how many replacements were made and I can choose OK and I can look and see that all my instances where I had a date a space, a hyphen, a space, and the date have now been changed to be formatted with just the date, a hyphen, and the date. Now, if I scroll down to where my text was with the uh, spacing that we wanted to make sure that we didn't affect, you can still see that I have my character, my space, my hyphen, and my space. So there, grep worked for us in this instance and saved us a great deal of time because we had a lot of items in this document that we needed to change and some that needed to remain the same. I hope this was a useful tip for you uh, going over the grep tab and thank you.